A surrogacy bill introduced in New York is being called dangerous by the state's Catholic bishops. The legislation which seeks to legalize surrogacy has been criticized not only by Catholics, but also by some secular feminist groups. Here to talk more about this is Dr. Michael Parker, president of the Catholic Medical Association, and he joins us now by Skype from Columbus, Ohio. Thank you so much, doctor, for joining us. Well, Tracy, thank you uh, for having me on. It's a, it's a pleasure to be with you this evening. First off, I think let's start with the church's position on surrogacy. Can you talk a little bit about that for us? Well, the church's teaching stems from its teachings also on in vitro fertilization. If you understand Catholic teachings, we know that uh, children are to be conceived through the natural marital act uh, between a husband and a wife. Uh, and when uh, we separate that unity between the husband and wife, it becomes uh, immoral within the church. That leads then to surrogacy. When we have embryos that are created outside of the marital union and are being held uh, in a petri dish or in uh, suspended animation being frozen, uh, then those embryos can be transferred to uh, someone who is not the parent of that child. We as Catholics believe that all children uh, receive their dignity and worth at the moment of conception. And so that child uh, really becomes uh, you know, immoral, not, the, the child itself um, conceived through these methods. Uh, we don't have a good uh, disposition for what to do with them, but surrogacy becomes an immoral because it separates the husband and the wife from creating the child uh, within their marriage. What's your concern about this particular bill as a Catholic and as a doctor? Well, I have several concerns. Uh, first off, uh, for the woman, uh, this woman basically just becomes a... Uh, a, a, an incubator uh, for children. Uh, and it can lead to exploitation of these women by wealthy individuals and uh, couples uh, who are seeking to have children um, and are not able to have children. It also raises concerns because this woman is placing herself at risk of medical complications associated with pregnancy. And those risks are not uh, inconsequential. Uh, and can even be fatal, as we know, uh, with regards to the high mortality rate associated with pregnancy here in the United States. It also, uh, you know, uh, takes away that dignity of the woman and the but of the child also, um, because this child now becomes uh, a commodity. This child has no right. It can be bought and sold. In earlier times, we called this slavery. The other concern that I have is it could lead to forced abortions. When these children are conceived, we don't know what's going to happen during their development. And if anything abnormal is seen with the baby, such as a birth defect or some type of genetic abnormality, what's going to be the who's going to make the decision as to what to do with this child? Is it going to be the surrogate uh, mother, or is it going to be the people who have purchased this embryo or have placed the embryo within the uh, surrogate? Dr. Parker, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. No, it's my pleasure. You know, the Catholic Medical Association uh, has some very strong stance on, on being pro-life, and we're always uh, wanting to speak out on issues related to life and these matters, which are going to affect uh, not women, children, and families.